How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, recently with this massive mining craze, we have been seeing some uh, massive GPU shortages because the cryptocurrency miners buy up all of the GPUs which the gamers usually would have bought, especially among the higher end of the GPUs from the GTX 1060 to the 1080 Ti's and especially AMD cards. You can't almost find any AMD cards anywhere on the market. But now we have also been seeing some dedicated mining cards being released by nvidia with the first one being the gtx 1060 which was the p106 100 so that was a dedicated mining card which did not have any inputs at all it was stripped down to the bare minimum with less CUDA cores and some other specs uh, being reduced as well to make the card a lot cheaper and then also use less power now usually the problem with these dedicated mining cards is that yes they do use less power and uh, you can buy them usually for a bit cheaper but most of the times I only have a three to six month warranty so if anything happens beyond that you just throw away the card and then also you can't really resell them after that period of time whereas with the normal gaming graphics cards they usually come out with a year to almost three years of warranty so if something happens you just send it back in and they usually repair it. So that's again one of the big reasons why cryptocurrency miners still just go for the normal gaming graphics cards instead of these dedicated mining cards. But now in the last two or three days we have been getting some rumored and now confirmed confirmed leaks uh, that NVIDIA is bringing out a dedicated GTX 1080 Ti mining card which is going to be codenamed of course the P102100. Now just like the GTX 1060 P106100 this one is also going to be a stripped down version of the GTX 1080 Ti. So with the normal GTX 1080 Ti that one had 3584 CUDA cores and a 11 gigabytes of GDDR5X memory with the P102100 that one is only going to have 3200 CUDA cores and 5 gigs of GDDR5X memory. Now of course the mining asteroid is the most important are you going to see a reduction uh, because it is a stripped down version of the normal GTX 1080 Ti. Well, not necessarily with uh, it actually getting a 47 mega ashes second in Ethereum, 660 souls in a Zcash and 879 hashes in Monero. With the normal 1080 Ti, depending on the card and also if you overclock it, it can go up to 41 mega ashes a second, 7500 souls a second in Zcash and then 900 uh, hashes a second in a Monero. So with these hash rates, we can see uh, that the normal GTX 1080 Ti still sometimes performs a bit better depending on the algorithm. But overall, the new P102 is going to do very well, especially with that Ethereum hash rate at 47 mega ashes a second. And also with the normal GTX 1080 Ti, it depends on the card you buy. If you go for the most expensive card, that one is going to be able to overclock a lot better than the cheaper ones. And that is only where you are going to get these hash rates. But now this is all well and good. How much is the card actually going to cost around? And is it actually going to be worth it? Because if we calculate it in at the moment with that hash rate, uh, at the moment Ethereum, you're only going to get about $1.40 a day. For Zcash, $1.30 a day. And Monero, it's even less than a dollar. So it's not really going to be even worth it to get that card, even if it's uh, really cheap. And from the predictions we get, it's going to cost around $800, which is still really expensive. It's sometimes a bit cheaper than a GTX. 1080i uh, depending if you can get stock and if it's not overly priced uh, but again for this price it is quite expensive even for a dedicated mining card and you won't be able to sell that card again to somebody else afterwards. But now, what does these dedicated mining cards mean to gamers? Is it actually going to help out the uh, shortage on a gaming graphics cards or is it actually going to make it a bit worse? Honestly, I do not think it's going to help out the market at all uh, because it's still a normal GTX 1080 Ti chip that potentially could have been a gaming card, but now NVIDIA is putting it into a mining card. 
Uh, so it's not really going to help out the GPU shortage, but it could prevent the miners from instead of buying these cards, which are cheaper and perform a little bit, little bit better than dedicated mining cards, which will in turn just help out the gamers a bit. Uh, we shall have to wait and see about that one, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. But now, what is the reason NVIDIA is actually making these dedicated mining cards? Uh, it could be to do that they are trying to help out the gamers, or like I previously mentioned, by supplying a dedicated card for cryptocurrency miners and preventing them from buying our gaming cards. Or it could be that they are also trying to get rid of some of their older uh, GTX 1080 Ti chips and getting ready for the new generation, the GTX 2000 series. But it could also be uh, that uh, these uh, potential GTX 1080 Ti chips just don't cut it for uh, gaming graphics cards. So instead, they would rather, instead of throwing them away or uh, downgrading them to something else, they instead take these chips, which doesn't perform that well, and put them into these mining cart. So that is another possibility, but I'm not too sure if any of these is actually going to help out uh, the gaming market in general. We shall just have to wait and see about that one. So that's pretty much it. I just want to inform you guys about these new GTX 1080 Ti mining cards and uh, once you get some of your input on this are you for these cards are you against these cards uh, what do you think is it going to help out the gaming uh, market or do you think it's just going to make it a bit worse so i'd love to get your comments down in the, uh, in the comments below uh, also please like share subscribe and comment if you like this video and then i will check all of you guys next time cheers guys do you live in South Africa and want to get the best deals on all the latest gaming products? Well, Rebeltech is the best place to check out. They have a huge variety of peripherals, PC components, laptops, and just everything else you would need. And also from all your favorite brands like Gigabyte, Asus, Corsair, and many more. So go check out rebeltech.co.za to get the products you're looking for at a low price.